<sighs> oh great, a red barrel. Why are games still using these things? Can't we move on from them? What self-respecting bad guy would just leave these things lying around anyway? They totally wreck my sense of immersion when they show up. I think it's time to stop putting them in games, let them die and just move on, don't you? Except, that's not what crosses my mind when I see one. Here's the dirty little secret about exploding barrels. They're awesome. They make games better. On some level, I feel like I really should hate these things and do a video about how dumb they are, but I can't do it, they're just too much fun. There are typically two main reasons as to why people dislike red barrels in the first place. They're cliches, and they're factually inaccurate, both of which can also be said of jumping on enemies' heads. As for that second point, fair enough, but if realism in games is a sticking point for you, then you're gonna have a rough time of it. As for that first point though, a cliché in and of itself isn't a negative thing. It just literally means that, like most things under the sun, it's not original, it's used often. Things don't become clichés by accident. Exploding barrels are typically red because we associate warm colours with danger, and they're put about in games because they're just fun to interact with. They allow you to feel as if you're actually manipulating the environment, some more so than others. I'm not going to pretend that they bring a whole world of opportunity with them, but more often than not, they do add to a sequence. They make you reconsider your approach to a scenario, kill an enemy right away with a whole bunch of bullets or wait for them to go near a barrel, allowing you to save ammo but potentially take damage as you wait, shoot one at the earliest opportunity or wait to see if more enemies crowd around it, shoot one when you're in the blast radius, guaranteeing a few kills or wait till you're clear of the explosion. This is what we refer to in the gaming world as depth. There's depth to be found in these little bundles of joy. Maybe not a ton of it, but it's still there. When all else fails, however, they're just fun to mess with. They add some variation. You could kill goons the old-fashioned way, taking a few painstaking seconds to line up that perfect shot, or you could just explode them, like the game is occasionally giving you a little break and saying, here, don't worry, just shoot this thing instead. That's better. If you had to kill every enemy in such a way, then yes, this would get old fast. But I think it's great to have them crop up every now and again, if only just to add some variation. Maybe this is just a personal thing, but shooting bad guys just doesn't thrill me as much as it maybe used to. At times it can feel like an outright chore, so if an explosive barrel comes along allowing me to speed up the process whilst still thinking tactfully, then I'm gonna take it. Though even forgetting the potential depth, if a particular barrel in a particular game serves no other function than simply to explode next to an enemy, then to be honest that's still enough for me. Don't get me wrong, hating red barrels because they're overused cliches is something that I can understand. Nobody likes to be taken out of an experience and there are a few sticking points that do it for me. But exploding barrels aren't just showing up out of sheer laziness, they're at least serving a positive function, be it variety, depth, interaction with the environment or just making things momentarily easier. You can change the colour, the shape, hell you can take their function and apply them to something else entirely if you're so inclined. But I would hate to see the positives that they bring be removed from games entirely just because the packaging has become overused. Red barrels are awesome, and we all know it. <laughs>